We're now at six, a new initiative aimed at cracking down on crime in the city of Milwaukee. It's called Cop House, and it's a program for officers to live in certain neighborhoods to help build relationships with community members. Our Brandon Rook has more on the story. Brandon. Charles and Katie, this is all about community oriented policing, improving neighborhoods, making them safer for families. This is going to be a tremendous opportunity for kids and, and adults for that matter, you know, to go into these cop houses. It will be the first of its kind in Milwaukee. We're looking at starting off with just one, one house right now. A new program where Milwaukee police officers will live in a designated home, most likely in a neighborhood with high crime. They're here to serve you, to help make your neighborhood a better place to, to be. The cop house will be a central hub for law enforcement and public safety officials to work with the community. This is just merely one step in a whole series of steps that we're looking to advance to improve public safety. This idea will be modeled after a similar program in Racine. According to the city of Racine, in some cases, cop houses have reduced crime by up to 70 percent. This is going to be a, a source of, uh, of pride for the community. This is going to be a gathering place. I envision elected officials going there and also interacting with people of, of the neighborhood. And it's not just about crime. The cop houses will also be equipped with computers for families to use. It's improving educational opportunities for people in the neighborhood. It's going to be a house where people can go in the neighborhood to better themselves with education education or whatever other means. The city is still looking at potential properties, but haven't chosen any yet. The plan is to use a city owned home and fund the project with federal grant money. Alderman Zelensky says realistically, the program won't be up and running until spring 2018. Charles and Katie.